Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Oh, I've just realised that you can see a bit of a glare on my glasses. Is that an issue? Should I take them off? I feel like I look very um, like plain. I'm going to keep them on. If it annoys you, I'm really sorry if there's like a glare on my glasses, but I feel very plain today. <laughs> um, excuse my attire. I literally look the scruffiest that I've probably ever looked on on my videos. Um, I'm having a bit of an issue these days <laughs> with, with like makeup and stuff. I honestly feel hideous in makeup. I was about to film this video uh, a couple of days ago, did my makeup and everything and literally had a mental breakdown because I just felt really ugly and disgusting. Like, I don't know. You know, when you just have those days, like I just have them a lot. We're not going to go into all that today, like that's not how I want this video to be. Um, in terms of clothes, I'm kind of wearing this outfit because yeah, the red top is because I'm in between um, teaching online classes. If you didn't know, I teach English online. Um, I had a class not long ago, I've got another class coming up, so I couldn't really be bothered to get changed. <laughs> Very lazy of me, but here we are. And um, I'm representing Siemens because uh, I'm wearing Martin's jacket uh, because it is absolutely freezing in this cottage. Honestly, there is something wrong with the heating which we need to tell uh, the guy that owns it to get it sorted out because it is so cold now. Um, but on a better note, today is actually, like what's the day? It's the 6th of October and it's actually the first date where I feel so cosy. Like I feel very autumnal. I'm not a big autumn person or winter person. Like I love it. It's beautiful. I love Christmas. I really despise the cold. Um, but this morning I woke up. It was really foggy. Um, obviously we live in the, like, the countryside here in Scotland. Um, so it was just beautiful and I just felt so cosy and I felt like I just wanted to like light a candle which we don't have here so I'm going to go get some. Um, and have like a hot beverage even though I had iced coffee because I'm not enjoying hot coffee at the moment but nevertheless it was just so nice to be cosy I love that um yeah so for today's video I want to talk to you guys about some books that I've been reading so if you watched my video right at the start of the year about um I think it was my share of my like planner with you um, and inside the planner it had like goals for the year and one of those goals slash like resolutions was to start reading more books because I used to absolutely love reading books when I was a kid I was like a little bookworm I used to go to the library get books out um and for a very long time I've not read any books like as like a hobby like to enjoy my free time anything that I've read might have been for like university or something like that um, but I do really enjoy reading and it is how many months like I started reading again last month so in September so that's nine months into the year that it took me to actually pick up a freaking book and read it I don't know why it took me so long I'm just in that funk at the moment where I'm very like I'm procrastinating all the time with things this year has just been an absolute write-off I feel like I've just wasted the year and um, which I'm sure a lot of people have felt um, but I feel like everything that I wanted to accomplish in this year, I just have not at all. Like, I haven't lost any weight, I haven't finished the book that I started, um, I've kind of lost all motivation for anything that I was passionate about. Um, and yeah, I really just want to try and get that back. Um, so, on a weekly food shop in our local Tesco, I walked past the the book section you know where they just have like a couple of shelves filled with some books and um, it was it's not a massive section but I was like okay I'm gonna pick up a book um and I'm actually gonna read it and I'm very into like thrillers like books with a twist um I really love like horror movies and things like that like psychological movies um movies that get you thinking so I wanted to sort of channel that into reading so I was looking at the books and um, the first one I picked up um, was a book called Who Did You Tell by Leslie Cara, I believe. Now, I actually don't have this book with me because I read it um, 
and finished it while we were at um, an Airbnb, a different Airbnb in Scotland because we had to leave this place for a couple of weeks. Um, and then I didn't even think about doing a video. So I just thought, oh, I'll leave the book here for the next person to read if they fancy it. Um, so I left it there. Um, in hindsight, I probably should have kept it so I could show you guys and then give it to somebody. But I didn't even think about doing this video until recently when I've like accumulated more books. Um, but I will still tell you a little bit about it. I won't give you any spoilers or anything. Um, so yeah, the book is called Who Did You Tell? And it is a kind of thriller type of like mystery type of book. Um, basically about an alcoholic who moves back in with her mother after a traumatic event. Um, she joins an air meeting, meets lots of people, she meets a guy. Um, but she's also getting kind of stalked by somebody who kind of, how do I put this? Who is kind of like threatening her by saying that they know something that she did in the past, which was bad. Um, I'm not very good at explaining this, but um, if you look it up, honestly, um, I really, really enjoyed this book. I don't want to give too much away because I don't want to like spoil it for you if you're into that sort of thing. Um, yeah, I did really enjoy it. Um, as like the first picking up, mm, let's get your words out. So like as the first book that I started reading again, it was a really good book to get into. Um, it was kind of simple. Um, it was just from one person's perspective. Um, it had a good twist at the end, which was good. Um, yeah, I just really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was written very well. Um, I was hooked. I think I read it in the space of like maybe a week if that like give and take um when i do my classes like early in the morning sometimes i do classes and it's like one o'clock in the morning here um sometimes if i have a break i'll like just read um a couple of chapters and that's exactly what i was doing i was like finding it really difficult to put it down and i just wanted to finish it so yeah that that was a really good book to get into i would really recommend that um if i was going to rate it out of five i would probably give it like a th three and a half um which yeah i think is pretty fair um so then the next book that i bought again from tesco um all these books that i bought are from tesco because i haven't managed to go to waterstones or anything like that or look online i do have a tablet so i'm wanting to maybe download some books on there but i just you just can't beat like the feel of like an actual book i much prefer like flicking through the pages of a book than just like just staring at the screen because i feel like i stare at a screen for such a long time like doing online classes like just looking at a phone watching television it's so nice to not stare at a screen and concentrate on something else um and i've been getting really bad headaches lately i don't know if that's got anything to do with it kind of irrelevant but yeah i just much prefer uh picking up an actual book than downloading them on a screen but my nana said to me the other day that they're a lot cheaper and you can get free books so I might have a look um, and see if, if my Nana's right, but like Nana's are always right, so I'm sure I'll find something decent. But the next book that I bought um, is this one here. It's called The Other People, and it's by someone called CJ Tudor, um, which is apparently a very popular, um, very popular author who has done lots of other books, which I would actually really love to read. Um, so this is the book here, and this was, amazing like honestly i really really enjoyed this i always love to read like what other people have said about it like on the back and someone compared her to britain's female stephen king which is such a big like accolade i would say and uh, a compliment so definitely interested me like straight away when i read that um this book is how can i describe it um it's very interesting and very weird like i like it's a, it's a different type of book so i'll tell you what it's about basically it starts off with a man traveling on his way home from work there is he's stuck in traffic um and there's a car in front of him that he notices because it's got loads of like stickers on the back of it and then all of a sudden like a little girl pops up in the back of the window and shouts daddy and he realizes that it's his daughter so he's like whoa what's going on he follows the car um and then he loses the car then he goes home and it turns out that his wife and daughter have been murdered, like they're dead. 
Um, so the book is basically about um, some time passing um, and him trying to basically find his daughter because he's not convinced that she's dead due to the fact that he saw her in the car on the day that she was supposed to have been murdered. Um, and it's just very interesting. There's lots of twists in it. Like it had me hooked pretty much from the start. Um, I don't think it takes much for me to get hooked. Like, like I said, I love a thriller, so anything with a twist and I'm kind of like drawn in straight away. Um, I'm trying to remember, it's been a couple of weeks since I actually read this, but this is also like, it's about other people in it as well. So there is a few different like perspectives from it. So uh, one chapter, it's his perspective. Another chapter, it's another character's perspective. Um, there's not too many that you lose sort of your place or concentration, but it's, it's definitely one of those books where you're reading it and you're like, oh my God, she is linked with him and he was there and she, like that's her. And I love stuff like that, like stuff that makes you think. Um, yeah, so I would definitely, definitely recommend this if you're into something like that, something like gripping. Um, so if I was gonna rate this out of five, I would probably give it a four. A four. Yeah, I would 100% I would give it a four. I really, really enjoyed this. Um, then the last book that I bought, again from Tesco, is this one here. And it's called When You See Me, and it's by someone called Lisa Gardner. Again, I couldn't fault this book at all. This, this is probably the most, like out of all three books, this one I was kind of like more like into. Um, the other people is probably the second and then who do you tell probably the last one but this one was so good like really really good it's more of like a crime book um would i say there's any like thrilling parts in it yeah like it's kind of like a thriller crime it's a lot more crime based than the others um that i that i read like it's more sort of about the police investigation. Um, so let me just give you like a little summary. So it's basically about uh, a woman called Flora who is like a kidnapping survivor. Like she was kidnapped and then she got rescued. She now helps uh, the FBI to solve other cases and uh, she helps them on a case where bodies have been found in the mountains. So they go there and try and like figure this whole uh, mystery out and see if it's related to the guy that kidnapped her um because she thinks that there's like things in connection so she kind of wants to like help um i'm not very good at describing these things am i like i'm really sorry <laughs> um but yeah this was so good like i said it's more crimey so it looks more into the investigation it's more technical um again it's from different people's perspectives so there's a couple of characters in here um, that you like read. I mean, I've just literally just said that it's from their perspectives. Um, but one of the characters is like a young girl who um, was like her mother was killed when she was younger and they kind of took her and uh, made her into like a maid sort of slave. And she is nonverbal, so she can't speak. She can only communicate with drawings. Um, and you just fall in love with her character and she's just like the cutest and you just want the best for her um, yeah so this one I was hooked with as well like I couldn't put this down um, it does have a lot of twists in it and at the end it's kind of like you know one of those where you're like guessing throughout you're like a horror movie where you're guessing who the killer is throughout the whole movie this is one of those where you're like oh, it could be him is it him he sounds too good to be true um, I think it's him and then at the end it's kind of one of those where it's like I'm not going to tell you because I don't want to give it away, but it keeps you guessing all the way through. Um, so yeah, I really, really enjoyed this. Um, very, like, leaves you in suspense, I would say. Um, I was kind of a bit devastated when this one was over. Like, I really did enjoy this one. Um, and that is pretty much the three books that I've read so far. I went to my nana's the other day. I was telling her about how I was getting back into reading and she has a lot of books like her and my uncle my uncle's really into crime thrillers sort of books so i borrowed this one here which is called liar liar by someone called mj r lynch um i haven't started it yet actually i haven't read for like two weeks um i don't know why i should probably just get get back into it um 
but this seems really good so I'll let you know how this one goes and when I've accumulated some more books I will sort of do another video if you guys like like these sort of things I do watch videos where people sort of rate their books um that they that they've read um, and I think it's really interesting especially if you're an avid reader and you're looking for more for more books and tips and um some recommendations because I know myself um like I love it when people tell me like oh you should read this book especially people who are interested in the same type of books that I am so if you're interested in any books like this like thriller crime horror um please send me your recommendations because I'm very much into these type of things don't get me wrong I love other types of books um like Harry Potter and Twilight and yeah I said Twilight <laughs> I'm not ashamed um and all that type of stuff um romance books I'm not particularly interested in to be honest with you uh maybe I would probably get into them but it's not something that appeals to me that I'm like oh yeah I'm gonna pick up a romance novel um I much prefer the gory gripping thrilling type of um scenario and you have my mother to thank for that because she's a very avid horror fan <laughs> so growing up with all that you just get interested in it as well um so yeah and all of these books that i bought like i said are from tesco and they're literally like four pounds each um they usually do a deal for like two for eight but when i've bought them i've bought them like one at a time i don't want to keep this too long so that's kind of it so like i said if you do have any recommendations please let me know and if you've enjoyed this video then let me know also in the comments because I try and keep this channel doing videos that I enjoy doing like I don't want to force myself to do like makeup videos especially like I said when I'm not feeling myself in makeup like not that this is any better but for some reason I'm just feeling a lot more confident at the moment like this rather than putting the effort into doing my makeup and then turning around and feeling like I look hideous so yeah let me know if you can relate thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed it and would like to see more so i'll see you again soon bye